What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review wear test and demo using the new Dior Forever foundation. This is one of the two new foundations that Dior has launched for spring 2019. If you have not already checked out the Dior Glow foundation review, check that out. I did that one first, but this one is the more mattified version of that and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you guys on this foundation. So here's what the foundation looks like. The mattified foundation has the frosted bottle and the glowy foundation has the clear bottle but they both pretty much have the same packaging. This foundation retails for $52 and there is one fluid ounce of products in this foundation. It is sold at all high-end retailers. I will have a few of them listed down below for you guys to shop through my link if you would like to support me and my channel. But I was very surprised to see them launching this foundation. I did not know that they were going to launch two different foundations. So I'm curious to know if they're going to be discontinuing their original Forever Foundation, especially since they just relaunched it and they expanded the shade range not even two years ago. In my opinion, these foundations are formulated in two totally different ways. For one, this foundation has a lot more coverage than the original Dior Forever foundation. But what I'm going to do for you guys is compare them. I'm going to do that in a separate video. So make sure you look out for that one. But Hi, yes, my name is Kelsey and I was calling in regards to your Dior Forever foundation, the new one that you all have. And I was just wanting to know, um, is this foundation going to be a replacement for your original Forever uh, Dior Skin Forever foundation or will it be coexisting? Right, well, it's not the idea as for right now. All of them are going to be available. Okay. Right? So, yes, you can purchase either of them and it's just a different type of creation with different type of um, procedure and, and it's just a, a new foundation. Uh, but in the future, I'm not sure about which one is going to stay on the on the inventory on stock. We do not have that information, unfortunately. Okay, so the new Dior Forever is a permanent foundation, correct? Yes. Okay, so I just needed a little bit of clarification because it seems like there's a lot of similarities overlapping in Dior's foundations, but they said that this is going to be a permanent item and they said that it is different than the original Dior Skin Foundation in that this one wears longer and this one has more color options. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys off the description of this foundation and it says Dior takes 24 hour complexion perfection to the next level with forever. With Dior's iconic long wearing foundation formula, the complexion appears flawless and even in the pores tightened from morning to night. This this fluid foundation instantly enhances the appearance of the skin and improves its quality day after day with a formula enriched in meticulously selected skincare ingredients to reveal the skin's feel sensuality. Dior Forever creates a flawless velvety matte finish on the skin and is available in the Skin Glow format for a glowing radiant finish. And it has rose hip extract in it. So I have it on now. I have the color 4N. I do have a different color in this foundation than I have in the Glow Foundation. And that's simply because I don't feel like the colors align in the two foundations. And in the Dior Face and Body Foundation, I even had to mix two colors. And the color 4N is just way too dark for me. So I don't find that these colors are consistent across the board. So just keep that in mind. And I would advise you to go into the store and get matched. Because a lot of us are going to be different colors depending on which formulation of Dior foundation you choose. But this foundation does have a wide range of colors. There's 36 different colors with different undertones. We have the warm, the cool, the neutral, and we have warm olives. There's a good amount of color choices here for you guys to select from. 4N is a neutral color, but although it says that this color is neutral, I do think that this color runs a little bit more golden. And I think this color is a little bit too dark for me, so it's not a perfect match, but I definitely can make it work. But I wanna go ahead and jump into the demonstration of this foundation. And that way you guys can see what it looks like with me applying it. Also, if you have not already, make sure you check out my original Dior Skin Foundation review that I did a few years ago. So that way you guys can get a jump start on the comparison. So enjoy. <clears throat> so I'm just going to make sure that my foundation is very well shaken. And I'm going to start out with two pumps. Uh oh, that one got a little messy. On the back of my sponge. And I am going to pounce this over my face. So I'm just going to start off with one side. Two pumps is more than enough to cover one side of my face. I just prefer a little bit more coverage, but I'm going to take whatever is left over and kind of pounce it over my chin as well. As you all can see, 
Two pumps is more than enough coverage. I think that it's pretty smooth when you initially apply this foundation. This color is just a smidge too dark for me, but nothing that I can't correct with concealers. But here's what it looks like when you initially apply it. With the foundation, I feel like it gives a good enough coverage to where you don't really need to go back in with a lot. Plus, I cannot see my imperfections on my skin, so it gave me a decent amount of coverage. So I'm gonna go in with the same amount on this side. So this foundation blends out pretty easily with the sponge. It is a more matte foundation, so I would advise to work quickly. And I would advise to use a sponge to apply this foundation because applying it with the brush, I feel like it'll be too drying. So here's what the foundation looks like by itself. I have two pumps on this side and two pumps on this side. As I said earlier, I can't see any of my imperfections. I definitely don't feel like I need to go in with any more foundation. I feel like I have good enough coverage. The color match is nice. It is a little bit too dark, so I have to make sure to blend around those edges really well. Make sure I don't have any missing foundation around my eyebrows because that's a telltale sign that your foundation is too dark so you have to make sure you take your time and blend out a foundation that's too dark or too light here's what it looks like it feels very comfortable it doesn't feel very heavy I think it looks satin like and I think that it looks really pretty on my skin it blended out really nicely and I don't feel like my skin is bogged down by foundation so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back and let you guys see everything all together so I have everything all together. I think it looks really nice. I think that my concealer and my powders and everything worked well with this foundation. But I'm going to keep wearing it around and I'll check back in and let you guys see how it wears throughout the hours. It's pretty late right now and I do plan on doing an 8 hour wear test. Right now it is 5 o'clock so I will have this foundation on until 1 o'clock in the morning. Is that right? So yeah, 1 o'clock in the morning and then I will let you guys see the progress. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm doing my first check in a little bit later. It's been three and a half hours. It's actually 8.36 right now. I was at the restaurant, they took a little bit longer. I was enjoying my company of my boyfriend. So you know, I just was chilling. But I'm here to give you guys my first update. So far, I still think the foundation looks relatively matte. It's a little bit of my oil breaking through on the T-zone area, so I do see a little bit of shine, but I don't mind that. I actually think it looks a little bit better in terms of the finish. However, since I've had it on for about three and a half hours now, I do feel like my color has oxidized. I do feel like I look a little bit darker than I did when I initially applied it. And you guys know when I initially applied it, I did feel like that color was too dark. So now I think I'm teetering on one and a half to maybe two shades too dark in terms of the color. And the undertone is a little bit too orange slash reddish for my liking. But I do like the way that it looks aside from the color. I will check back in in a few hours and let you guys know the status. It is now 10 o'clock. I've had this foundation on for five hours and I wanted to come back on and give you guys a quick check in on what it looks like now. As you all can see, my forehead is a little bit shinier. I don't think it looks too, too different from my last check-in. And that's good because that means it's not progressively deteriorating or it's not sliding off my face. It's wearing pretty consistently. So I like that it is a little bit oilier here, but that's natural. The color, again, it did oxidize, but I don't think that it oxidized any further. So I'm going to wear this foundation around for about three more hours and I will check back in and give you guys the final updates. I basically am ready to go to bed. It is now 1 o'clock in the morning. I have had this foundation on for a full 8 hours. And I am ready to give you all my final thoughts. 8 hours later, I'm going to let you guys give me your opinion. Tell me what you all think about how my skin looks right now after wearing this foundation all day. So my thoughts on this foundation are, I feel like it's so hard to find a color in Dior's line for me personally. I feel like there's not one color that's really a good fit for me. I've tried the 3N, 3.5N, 4WO, and other formulations that they have released in the past. And I feel like none of them are perfect matches. And this 4N is not a perfect match either. It's a little bit too orange. I feel like I can definitely make this color work if I wanted to buy 3.5N and mix in a little bit of that neutralize it a little bit more make it a little bit less orange but because I'm so tired of buying two foundations if I can't find a color in a foundation I'm like I'm not trying to buy it at this point but as far as the formulation of this foundation I think that it's a little bit drier so if you have oily skin I think that you would like this foundation because I feel like it wears well it doesn't get super oily in my t-zone area and I feel like it stays put 
Granted, it is the dead of the winter, so it's a little bit colder outside. You guys know there's not any humidity. It's not really hot, except for when I go into a hot area. But I don't really sweat in the winter time, and I really am not going to get that hot to the point where my foundation will slide off my face. I feel like it overall looks pretty good at the end of the night, aside from the color, because this foundation does oxidize. But as you all can see, I have very minimal oil breaking through. I feel like the foundation looks even better as it wears, and that's always a good good thing because as you all know we need longevity and foundations like I said this foundation is good for oily skin types if you have drier skin I would say if you want to use this foundation make sure you prep the skin really well make sure you moisturize make sure you use hydrating products that way this foundation doesn't feel very dry it doesn't have that nasty feel that foundations can have at the end of the night so I do appreciate that Overall, I don't feel like this foundation is going to make it into my everyday arsenal just because the color and I really don't gravitate towards matte foundations as much anymore. But if you enjoy like a matte or like demi matte foundation, I think you'll like this one, especially if you have the oilier skin type and if you're able to find a color. So let me know what you all think about this foundation down in the comments section. I look forward to reading you guys' comments. But until next time, I will talk to you all in my very next video, which will be super super soon smooches bye